Hi there. So today we're going to look at Runway ML, which is an AI video generator. So if we go to Runway ML, you can sign up for free and you get a, a free trial. You can play around with some of the features. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit about what you can do here. So you can either start with an image or you can put in text on the video that you want. Now, obviously starting with an image, basically it'll start with that image and then add movement to that uh, with the start of, start of the video being the image that you uploaded and then starting from text, it's just creating it from scratch. So you can scroll down here as well and actually see some examples of sort of the type of videos that it will generate. Um, and if it's one of those text to video ones, it will have uh, the prompt that the, the user entered in order to generate that. So there's some pretty cool ones here. Like this is just under the sea and then it's, you know, uh, generated that green grass, hobbit holes, horse drawn carriage, et cetera, et cetera. And it's had generated this field. There's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, check out the examples. So if we go through some more examples here, I've been trying this out a bit. So I uploaded a, an image of the Statue of Liberty here, and then it's gone ahead and generated this video. So it's added like that extra little bit of movement to it. It's quite cool. There's obviously limitations with this. There's, there's still a long way to go, but it's really exciting to think about what's going to come in the future. Essentially, when you think about it, a video, is a bunch of images just stuck together one after each other um, quite quickly to the point that the human eye can't actually see that there's multiple sort of thousands of image, images stuck together. So if we can generate really high quality images, then essentially we can generate really high quality videos as well. So just one way to kind of think about that. Um, now let's see what I here so yeah you can see the prompt that I entered here palm trees blowing in the wind on a cliff next to a stunning beach at sunset so it's got most of it right there's not really a cliff here but um I mean this is a really nice clip um nice sunset palm beaches palm trees on the beach yeah really nice um so I'll show you some some times when I pushed the AI a little bit further um got really like specific with the prompt and <laughs> sort of tried to get some errors out of it i suppose so i could show you guys some of the limitations so this one an old chinese lady cycling on a tropical beach with pink water so what i've noticed here is the water does not really look pink it just looks like a regular ocean and then she's wearing pink <laughs> um i guess you could say it's sort of it's not really well maybe a pink sunset i don't know um, and then she's not actually cycling. She's just kind of still, and then the waves are going still really nice image that it's generated, um, video, sorry. Uh, the next one, a Viking dressed in red, reading an encyclopedia while cycling in a rainforest with, with frogs and monkeys. So great. It's a, I guess he kind of looks like a Viking and he's dressed in red. He's reading. Looks like an encyclopedia. He's on a bike. He's not actually cycling, but he's on a bike. Um, I can't see any frogs or monkeys. There's sort of like this almost like figure here. It just looks like it's um the rainforest that's like morphed. It's trying to morph into a person, or it's like one of those. It's like a sniper kind of like dressed with all the leaves, the camouflage leaves all all over him or something. Uh, it doesn't really look like a frog or monkey to me. Um, but, you know, there's there's some kind of movement there. You can see the AI is sort of trying and there's some movement around here as well. Still like really high quality images that you can see. So this next one, I've uploaded a stock image. So this is the stock image that I put up where it's this lady sort of like lying down on the ground, I guess, with like books and pens around her. Um, and then sort of asking for movement from this image, it's generated this where, uh, I mean, so you can see around here, she like loses um, 
her lower her, her her forearm. She loses her forearm, and then the rest of the video, um, her arm kind of like morphs up here, and then a hand comes out of her back. Look, there we go. <laughs> um, at the moment, like all of the AI image and video generators I've seen, basically do have issues recognizing how arms and legs work <laughs> in people so that's just like a limitation just to be aware of you you may sometimes find that it's a problem um even in in image generation as well what have we got up next as an example so i asked for a realistic spider monkey on a beautiful beach uh it's pretty good besides the fact that it's got five legs <laughs> face is a little bit morphed weirdly but but it's yeah not too bad um it's it's as i said it's promising to kind of like think about like where the future is going oh and then i i noticed they had this um marketing video like that really cool promoting this feature but it does look like it's in beta so i'm going to see how this works now i haven't tried it out yet but basically the idea is you can magically erase things from an image so let's just say we want to erase this lady um we'll see if we can try and like leave the bike in there i guess see what happens all right Okay, so it's loading. I was just holding down left click while I was doing all of that erasing. That's actually pretty good. And so it's filled all these parts in here. It was um, covering, you know, the ocean and the beach and the sand and stuff. And it's just kind of like filled that in. Um, pretty good. Yeah, let's see if, if we go over that now and just remove the bike as well. I think this is coming up later in the course. Um, Canva also has this feature as well, just for like, I think they only do still images though, not videos like this. Um, and then there's also, uh, so Runway and Canva both have um, ground removal. Um, Canva's ground removal, which you may have seen in the HeyGen section is, um. Yeah, it's actually quite good performs well. I use that a lot actually. So cool, let's do that. See where it's loading it. So it should remove the bike now, let's see. Nice, pretty cool. You can, <laughs> I didn't think about that actually. There's still the reflection of the bike now. So um, we need to think about that as well. So if you have something in like a video, um, you can upload it here and then try. And if, you know, if you've got like some person like walking in the background and you want to get rid of them or whatever, but that, I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so that's just the, I haven't actually played the video yet though. So let's click on preview. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on here, isn't there? So. It's okay. Um, I'll just click done. I don't know if that changes anything, but um, again, this is, you know, I think there's, like I was saying, there's a long way to go, but there's promising to kind of see where this is up to. Um, so Runway has got a pretty, what I would say is like a generous free file um, for you to play around with. The quality I think is, is pretty good compared to like other things out there. Um, there's another one called Pika Labs, which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, so I think they're like completely free, but I don't think the quality is quite up to scratch with Runway ML. Um, but essentially when you do the, uh, the prompts in here, you've got like these three options. Um, I found mostly just like the text in the image ones work well. I found the image and the description was almost like maybe like pushing the AI too much. Um, but there's quite a lot of controls here. Like you can, um, and you can see there's some, some paid features as well. I'm just on the free version here. 
So you can um, enhance the resolution. Um, you can increase the amount of motion or decrease it. And there's also these sorts of uh, camera sort of controls. So like increasing the tilt, like planning way, um, being more horizontal or whatever. So um, yeah, quite a lot um, to do there. And they've also got this feature again in beta on um, creating motion from specific parts of your video as well. And you can uh, choose like certain sort of styles. So it's got these cool... Um, like templated styles. So if you wanted like something quite cartoony, you could do that. Or if you wanted something like really realistic, you could select um, something that's in line with that. So one of the other um, options that I mentioned was uh, Pika Labs. So I sort of tried some similar prompts. Um, this was the result of the Chinese lady cycling um, next to the beach. Yeah, I, d I didn't think the quality was really to the same standard. Um, like the image is like, the video is okay, but um, it just didn't take in as much as the prompt that Runway did. Um, and yeah, I just don't think it's the same sort of quality. Again, with the Viking here dressed in red, it's, um, I mean, it got the, it put the frogs in the background, I guess. It's a little bit cartoony. Um, what I have heard about Pika Labs is some people like to use it, but just they just put, a lot of effort into like this re-prompting until they get the result that they want. So maybe it just requires a little bit more effort. Um, and then another one that is out there is um, stable diffusion. So um, it's a bit like a bit less accessible from what I gather, but um, they seem to be producing some pretty good results. Runway ML, I would say, is my, my favorite for now. So thanks for watching.